The first thing to do to get the, the belt off is to take this front flap thing off. The thing that you rotate to switch between the brush roll and the hose for vacuuming. To do that, just pull out on the sides and pull forward and it'll pop right off. Now the front piece that says Dirt Devil, that there, that's, a, that's a little cover there, and that has to come off. And to get that off, there's a, a Phillips head screw inside that hole over by the hose. You have to take that out. It holds that cover in place. I use a magnetic tip screwdriver so that the screw will come out with the screwdriver. Now, to get this piece off, just push down on it. You might have to wiggle it around a little, but it's pretty easy to do. Now you can see the, the motor shaft. And it still has the belt on it. To get that belt off, grab a screwdriver, slip it down under the belt, and then pull, oops, pull up on top of the shaft, lift up a little bit, Bring it out over the front of the shaft and just drop it down in. Now we need to take the screws out. Let's see, there are a couple screws on this end cap. We need to take those out. When you take these screws out and take the end cap off, there are two other pieces that might come off. They don't have to come off, but if they come out off, don't worry about it. It's easy to put back together. Uh, this is the way, uh, the easiest way. Just pull that off, and these other two pieces stay in place. This black flap, if it comes out, don't worry about it. Just put it back in in its groove there. Always make sure the the tab is at the bottom end of it. The other piece that can come out is the hose, and that just goes in the top groove there. And now this whole thing, the brush bar, pull, just give it a tug. It might get stuck slightly in there. So like I said, just give it a tug and pull the old belt off. And you can see where the belt is supposed to go by this blackened area of the brush roll. And here's your new belt. It is a style one. Just slip that over the brushes. I already feel that it's tighter. It went over the brushes a little. It was a little more difficult to get over the brushes than the old one was. Slip the octagonal piece down in. There's a there's a spot on the bottom where it goes. You'll be able to see that. Just make sure that when you put this in, you're putting the belt so it lines up with this piece not at this end. Okay, now this end cap can go back on. You might have to move that brush roll around a little bit to get the end cap back on. After it's on, you'll, you'll, you'll feel it go into place or see it. Put those screws in. Remember you're dealing with plastic, so, you know, Make them tight, but don't over torque those things. Now, the next step is to get that belt that's down in there and bring it up over the motor shaft. And there's a specific way this thing has to go. The belt is coming up off of the front of the brush roll, and from the front of the brush roll, it goes from our perspective on the right side of the motor shaft. So it comes up off of the front over and then down the left side of the shaft to the back of the brush roll. If you get it on backwards, it's going to spin the brush roll in the wrong direction. You'll notice it right away. And then you just have to take this thing off, and switch the direction of the belt, but you know, save a little time by doing it, getting it right the first time. To get that belt onto the shaft, slick, stick a screwdriver through the belt, put that screwdriver up onto the shaft, and then just guide it into place. You don't have to worry about where on the shaft 
that belt is riding, as soon as it starts spinning, I'll show you, as soon as it starts spinning, it's going to put itself in the right spot. The next step is to put this cover back on. Just line it up and push it up into place. Remember to put that screw back in the side. Again, you know, just make it tight, just to, don't really know to push down or torque too hard on it. Make sure this is functioning properly, this one is, and to put, when you put this back on, that tab needs to come up through that little slot there. So, put it on and make sure that that tab goes up into that slot. See right there, I missed it. Now I'm gonna go up and grab it. Okay, now we're good. And test that to make sure it's working. That should turn, that should be black everywhere you see it. All right, that all looks good. Now it should be working properly.